Senator Menendez just joined us. He is the chair of this committee. Senator Menendez, would you like to go ahead and do your introduction? And then I will continue with the remaining um, nominees. Well, thank you, Madam Chair, uh, for conducting the previous panel and this panel. It's an important part of what we do in the Foreign Relations Committee is reviewing the nominees for various positions. And uh, we're pleased that our subcommittees um, and our ranking uh, chairs and ranking members of our committees are willing to do so. So thank you very much for doing so. Uh, congratulations to all of the nominees for their nominations. Uh, I'm particularly here to uh, introduce uh, Felice Goroldo, a nominee to be the U.S. Alternate Executive Director at the World Bank. At a time when China is increasingly willing to use its economic power to pressure other nations to do its bidding, when Latin America is trying to recover from the economic impact of the COVID pandemic, when Putin's war in Ukraine threatens the food supply of developing nations around the world, strong, dependable leadership at the World Bank has never been more important. And Felice Gorodo has the experience, commitment, and vision of the United States that it needs to tackle the challenges the World Bank faces today. His journey starts the way that mine did. He is the son of Cuban exiles who fled dictatorship in their country. His parents came to the United States in search of the American dream. His dad was in law enforcement. His mother was a teacher. And from them, Felice learned the value of public service. That's why Felice founded Raices de Esperanza, Roots of Hope, a nonprofit that empowers young people in Cuba through technology and entrepreneurship. It's why he worked for both the Bush and Obama administrations, advancing the United States national interest no matter which party was in the White House. At the same time, Felice has impressive private sector experience. He has been CEO of three different equity investment ventures, Emerge Americas, a platform focused on transforming Miami into the tech hub of the Americas, ClearPath, a tech company focused on revolutionizing the paper-based immigration filing process, and Libre, a venture-backed mobility tech company with operations in the United States and Mexico. In the wake of COVID, his understanding of finance, economic statecraft, and technology will help the United States and its like-minded partners make the concerted push to prevent economic collapse in the developing world. He should be in this post because we need to make sure that China won't continue getting away with their malign influence at the institutions that we, the United States, created to shape the international order. And if confirmed to this post at the World Bank, Felicia will advocate for our values. He'll stand up for democracy and human rights. So I urge my colleagues to support the nomination of Felicia Gorodo for the post of U.S. Alternate Executive Director for the World Bank. I don't, as the chairman, very often come to introduce individuals, but Felice, uh, you certainly deserve it. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you very much.